Now, on an entirely different matter, there is little confusion about the devastating economic impact Democrats would bring about by ramming through their reckless taxing and spending spree, more taxes, more debt, and more painful inflation. But this isn't some collection of well-intentioned policies whose price tag has just gotten dangerously out of control. The policies themselves would mean real pain for American families. Case in point, the heavy-handed mandates that would restrict choice and access to affordable, life-saving health care. Democrats want to ax the private insurance plans that millions of Americans have chosen and prefer. They want to build new federal health programs and expand the ones that exist today, heaping more than $550 billion in new expenses on taxpayers to insure less than 4 million more people. Let me say that again. They want to build new federal health programs and expand the ones that exist today, heaping more than $550 billion in new expenses, new expenses on taxpayers, the result to insure less than 4 million more people. Here's the truth. The overwhelming majority of Americans today have access to health care. Democrats just don't like the private plans that most Americans choose. Then there's the plan to heap hundreds of billions of dollars in new programs and huge pools of additional people into a Medicare system that experts say is already, already, right now, dangerously close to insolvency. This is a huge, risky leap toward Medicare for all at the expense of the stability and the security of the actual Medicare, the actual Medicare system that millions of seniors rely on right now. Democrats want to pour cold water on America's world-leading medical innovation sector by imposing socialist price caps on prescription medicines. In another example of Democrats' magic math, magic math, the rationale here is apparently that calling something cheaper actually makes it so. Calling something cheaper, they think, actually makes it so. In reality, research tells us this would mean fewer new treatments and new cures. By one analysis, these price controls would cost up to 20 times, 20 times as much lost life over a decade as the once in a century COVID pandemic already has. I'm gonna say that again. By one analysis, these socialist price controls could cause up to 20 times as much lost life over a decade as the once in a century COVID pandemic already has. Suppressing innovation through drug socialism would literally cost American lives. And of course, they're planning to leave behind common sense protections against taxpayer funded abortion that had enjoyed consistent bipartisan support for decades. So Madam President, this isn't just a runaway price tag. These policies themselves are terrible, terrible policies, destructive things that would make America's families' lives actually worse. And the end goal, as one liberal House member said just yesterday, is a Medicare for all system from before you're born until you die. From before you're born until you die. More government between families and affordable care. More government between sick patients and life-saving cures, more reckless ideas from Washington Democrats. 